G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. So we're in the desktop of Draugr OS and uh, we're just going to have a look around. Now I've been playing around with these things and I thought I'd better um, try and put them back uh, where they were <laughs> um, so I could uh, do a video. So if they're not quite in the right place, I'm pretty sure it's close. So what we've got is um, Draugr OS. Now, what I'm going to do is, first of all, have a look at the Draugr OS README. And now, if you want to know where to find this now, um, I was uh, getting a little bit uh, frustrated when I first started using it to try and, um, when I had um, full screen, I was trying to figure out how do I get to the menu and stuff. But if you go on the side here, it'll actually open up the uh, the panel it's been um, made to um, hide intelligently so you, uh, there's a little bar on the side here so once you reach that and that's your open applications there so and then you've got your main menu here now I have mapped the um, whisker menu to the Windows key so I've done that um, now this is the readme file now that will be on Draugr OS websites. Now if we go to SourceForge here, that'll take you to his download page and we go to Files and you've got Draugr OS to download and the README file here. So this is some information on how to get started. Um, Draugr OS is explicitly meant to run on desktops. While it can run on laptops, it's strongly recommended not to. This, it's recommended not to do this as you may have cooling issues. It may also greatly decrease your battery life. Um, so, and he also go, goes on to say, installing Draugr OS on your system will delete all data on your drive. Also, that's an important part. So, while it's theoretically possible to dual boot Draugr OS and, other, and another OS, it is heavily discouraged to attempt this as you might brick your system, and this has not been tested. Um, it comes with copious amounts of open source software, um, vast majority of which does not belong to the developer of Draugr OS, uh, rather to the original developer of each respective package. So uh, read the man page if in the terminal app and type man command if you want to know who's the original owner or original developer of the respective packages. Uh, he's using a modified low latency Linux kernel. All rights to this kernel belong to Linus Torvalds. So he has a lot of respect for the, uh, for the people who have put the work into uh, the things that he's using from open source. So that's good to see. Um, it's based off of Zubuntu and, and Ubuntu, of course. Um, it's built off Zubuntu, which is the XFC flavor of Ubuntu. That means any software that runs on Ubuntu will run on Draugr OS. Um, Zubuntu has a point release cycle, so Draugr OS does as well. Um, now the username and password, the, the default username is default and it may also show user depending on where you're looking and the default password is root backwards tor um, of course without the quotations so he uh, goes on to say um, to talk about how having a secure password is very important so you can read that and the best um, possible scenarios for your passwords and then he goes on to say how to install it. Um, and there's a few screenshots and information on how to install Draugr OS. Um, nevertheless, I may, I may make a video on that anyway. I just had a few problems with, um, when I was clicking this left arrow, uh, where are we? This left arrow here when it shows up. Um, I think it might have been because I'm a bit rusty with system back, I think, um, because I made a, I was making some distros from Linux Mint Mate about three years ago using system back. And uh, so I knew how to use it, but um, 
I don't know if this was functioning properly or something's going wrong with it. It may be just me. Uh, so I'm going to check that. Maybe that's a good idea. I will make an install video and just check out what I was doing wrong. So I, I, I managed to get through it. So there's no problems there, obviously. Um, so the included software. Um, Draugr OS comes with a multitude of packages pre-installed. Play on Linux comes pre-installed to allow you to play some of your favourite Windows games on Linux. Furthermore, Draugr OS comes with Steam to allow you to play some of the hottest titles available, including games such as Skyrim, Fallout 3 and 4, uh, Mankind Divided, Metro Last Light and more. Um, Draugr OS comes with Draugr Store, an app to help the average user find games and emulators quickly and easily. Uh, important commands, so there's a command to update the Draugr devs here and aliases as well, full update and so forth. So you need to read through that to um, update some of the system. Now other notes, Draugr OS being a desktop operating system turned gaming system has a few weird features in here, here and there. Um, the biggest and most important of these is that the desktop bar is in the middle of the screen instead of at the bottom side or top. This is to make Draugr OS more like a gaming console and less like a PC. However, if you wish Draugr OS to be more PC like instead, you can easily reconfigure the desktop bars by right clicking on, on them, selecting properties and so forth. So we'll have a look at that. and and then feedback to Thomas, I think his name's Thomas. Um, I've, I've given him some feedback already on Telegram group about how I've got to move my mouse around to get the login screen up. If I don't move the mouse, I think it comes up eventually, maybe three or four minutes or something. So if I move my mouse around very quickly, it shows up straight away. So I'm not sure whether that's my hardware or um, I've mentioned it to him just in case somebody else has made mention. I'm not sure if they have. Now there's a few people from the Big Daddy Linux Live and this is the reason why we're doing this. It, it is a um, um, one of our um, distro challenges on Big Daddy Linux Live and we've done this one to give Thomas some feedback. So uh, I know there's a few of them doing games and so forth so I'm just going to concentrate on the desktop itself. So that's the readme. So that's just, I just went through that quickly, but uh, there's no need to read it word for word. Uh, people who download it, um, he strongly recommends that if you do download Draugr OS, please read the manual first. It's very important. So I did that, which I don't normally do, <laughs> but uh, it was important to do that, and he, he did specify that. So now here we go. We've got the two panels here, one with your Windows buttons, one with all your um, launches. Now I can see the concept in which he's trying to do here. Um, it's not a bad idea. Um, I think there could be a couple of tweaks that could be made. Um, so we'll do that. I want to go through the software first. We'll do that first. Um, so we'll start with accessories. You got the Draugr store. Let's have a quick look at that. So he said um, Graphical user interfaces, which is the GUI, is not his strongest point. So um, I think he was looking for help on somebody to help him make this look a little bit more user friendly. Um, it does work. So you've got games here, but um, we've got action. So there's no action games yet. Now, instead of going back, close this, because I think when you go back, they stay open, I believe, and you end up with a whole heap of now that's not opening now yeah okay so there's a, a couple of issues that um, do you want to terminate yeah we'll terminate that and open it again uh, let's have a look so he's got games casino puzzles Sudo sudoku mahjong um, arcade games now if you go back and it's not doing it. Yeah, it's not playing ball today. It's uh, 
wasn't doing this yesterday, so I don't know why it's suddenly decided to do it while I'm recording. You've got emulators here, Atari, Nintendo. Um, that may make sense to a few people. I'm not a huge gamer. So, used to be when I was younger, but not anymore. So it's still playing up a bit, so I don't know what's going on there. So you can see um, what what that's all about anyway, the Draugr store. So it was working all right, so I, don't, I think I did an update too, so I don't know whether that's caused any issues. Sony, so you got Sony there, you got that there. Close that. It's doing it again. All right. So I won't go any longer on this one. I think you get the idea. There is a Draugr store there. Um, let's have a look. Archive manager, file manager, fonts, Mate calculator in the XFC desktop, mouse pad, onboard keyboard, which is also here. So I'm assuming he's got that there. I'm not. I'm not quite sure why. So now getting back to the onboard screen board, uh, onboard keyboard. Um, now if you're using it as a PC, I'm assuming that most people would have a mouse and not using a touch screen. So I'm not sure why he's got that keyboard there. There may be a reason, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure why. Makes sense if you've got a touch screen, I suppose, but uh, it's got Play on Linux, a screenshot terminal. Now he's got games, under games he's got Steam. And graphics, he's got Restretto Image Viewer, Internet, Firefox, and Steam again. Multimedia, Clementine, Parole Media Player, Pulse Audio Volume, and Simple Screen Recorder, which I have installed. Uh, document Viewer. I installed that as well. It did not come with a document viewer. You got the Draugr welcome screen. So there's the welcome screen. There's the README file when you boot. So that takes you directly to the README file on his website, is it? Uh, probably Google Drive, yeah. Okay. So Draugr OS website, OS tutorial. So let's have a look at that. No, it hasn't done anything. So there seems to be a couple of issues with the welcome screen in the store. Um, so the Draugr OS um, applications that he's got in there um, just seem to be having a little bit of a problem. So, um, so we've got the settings, which will be your typical XFCE settings. You've also got the XFCE panel switch, so we'll do something with that. And the system, task manager, synaptic package manager, system back, GDB package installer, disk usage and analyzer, and um, play on Linux as well. So, so that's your packages. Now, I believe um, it's a shame that this um, Draugr store is not working because I believe you can install games from here, Sudoku. Yeah, you can install. So if you do that, uh, put my password. Let's try that anyway. So it, it appears that it's working. It's installing. So there's not a problem there. It just when you are going back or going out of the screen, it seems to have an issue. Installed successfully, so um, so there you go. So now it has um, stalled again. Yeah, okay. Um, let's have a look under games, see if it installed in the right select uh, section. Yes, it did, so that's all right. So now um, these two panels, now let's have a look. Um, panel preferences now that's unlocked that panel and that's moved that down to the bottom now um, it's got this appearance here the leaves so when you so if have a look at that transparency when the pointer is not hovering over the panel 
so if you want it full transparency you can put it up there uh, we can also um, drop the size of the panel as well so I'm going to drop that down till that becomes one like so 49 oh, let's go arrow up and down 50 is yep so 49 is where it goes to single so let's do it that way now um, now you got your software here now what I've done in my favorites I'll put the software which is there steam as well play on Linux I haven't done yet um, now you got your sound now what we can do here is if we go to panel preferences on this one and we go to items now if we go to the notification uh, plugin I think it is and we click on the edit button here now I'm not sure if that was the right no it's not that one it's this one here so maximum size icon 22 so let's let's just up that fifty five say okay let's do that now I've also got the simple screen recorder so that says fifty five but um, but it hasn't gone up in size so I don't know what's going on there so we'll change this clock go to properties and put it on um, LCD make it a big clock that looks better um, panel preferences again let's increase the size of this panel let's make it a hundred and let's unlock that and bring it down to the center now for some reason this one here you cannot get to that if it's under the panel <laughs> for some reason I don't know why it's only the settings one that does that so so that's lock that back into place so now we're looking a bit more like a gaming console there we've got onboard keyboard Ethernet sound uh, notifications so I'm not sure if you need notifications there maybe um, you probably don't need your software updater and stuff so updater synaptic package manager G Debbie synaptic package manager G Debbie I mean if you want these things you put them into favorites um, synaptic software manager software updater so let's go updater add to favorite so you've got those things there and we could probably um, remove this launcher because if we want it to be a little bit like a gaming console let's just make it um, all our stuff that we need on here now the other thing that that does is when you're running a few things here and let's do that um, let's go terminal internet so this is hidden down the bottom here but it's a lot easier I find to go from one task to another with that down the bottom I think it's more of a um, desktop usage paradigm but we also got this one in the center so you could probably you've got your steam um, let's have a look so was there anything else that we could add onto that desktop I'm not sure um, let's go to all and have a quick look so what would you be using a clementine so we could probably add I'll tell you what we can add into here we can add new items and we can look for 
show desktop add that that's move that over to here no why let me do that I don't know why oh is that locked um, panel preferences no it's not locked doesn't want to move to there okay let's move it here then so show desktop that's probably a handy one to have let's close that now let's go through the list and see if there's anything that's um, now you probably if you're gaming or doing anything like that you might want your clementine so that's add a new item there let's add a launcher add close that right click on that launcher go to properties and uh, click the plus button to add and let's look for clementine and add that close so there's clementine um sudoku sudo um I always forget how to say that thing so um, where is it? <laughs> Games. Sudoku. Sudoku. So add new items. Add a launcher again. Add. Close that. Properties. Add. Um, Sudoku. Sudoku close that there's your game so if you added games you could add all your games onto this area here um, I'm getting the feeling that we could even up this even more this thing let's try that that looks good now Clementine is still open so um, we could quit that now um, oh, because that's part of the music thing that's why isn't it so same with my simple screen recorder so I don't know why it's gone into that into the top left hand corner there it's a bit weird nevertheless okay so I think that'll pretty much do us for now you got your buttons for your um, sound here um, you got media control here audio mixer down the bottom so XFC is really um, really come alive in this area here I, I must say it's really good so also I've mapped um, so if we get if we map uh, if we go to keyboard um, keyboard application shortcuts now if we full screen that and we look for um, XFCE4 pop up whisker menu, and you just change that. So if you double click that, and then it says put your command in, I'll cancel that, and then you just hit the Windows button or the super key, and that will map that whisker menu to your super key. So that's how you do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at the XFC panel switch and I might save this panel configuration. So these panels here that I've changed, I just thought I could change them um, to look a little bit more so like a gaming console. So um, I'm just wondering with this one here if I can change the properties on that one. If we show the frame, will that help us out? now they've got bigger so let's just go back to panel preferences again um, items notification area So if we choose show frame, it brings them back down. So that's the maximum the icons will go. And then they will go there. So you can't really... Let's 
let's make them 40. Close that, close that. Let's open Clementine, see what happens. Okay, so they're all sharing that one there. Okay, so let's go to the panel switcher. And let's go to save configuration. Um, name the panel, so we'll call it Coles Gaming Config. Save that and done. So now I'm assuming that um, if we go back to the switcher, let's have a look. Um, maybe I should have um, saved the original one first. I'm not sure whether there was a, an original saved. Apply configuration. No, it's, it's not there, is it? So I should have saved the original one first. That's all right. So we've got all these configurations here, predetermined configurations, as you can see. Um, and then we can go to my gaming configuration, and there you have it there. There it is. So um, that's a configuration saved. Now, should be, I'm not sure where that saves to. Let's have a quick look at hiddenfiles.config. Okay, so um, took me a little while to find that, a couple of minutes anyway. Um, it's actually in lo dot .local, share, and XF panel switch, and there's my Coles Gaming con config there. So you could uh, pretty much share that with anyone if you like that uh, configuration. I might even actually back that up just in case somebody wants it. So... Um, just in case somebody likes my little work of art here. <laughs> That's about as good as my work of art will get. <laughs> so um, I'm sure there's some other things you could do to um, enhance it a little bit more, but um, that's not a bad start anyway. But uh, I liked, uh, sort of like the concept, but I think um, I would, uh, for my, the way I work, that, that would work better. Still have that in the center because I think it's a great concept anyway. It's not a bad idea. I just when I first started, I was trying to I was full screening a few things, and then I was trying to how do I get back to? And then I was minimizing and whatever, and then I realized oh you can just grab the uh, grab the panel from the side here. I don't think you can grab it from this side. No, it's only that side. So, um, but this is an easier way to swap. Especially since they're hidden, you still get your screen real estate anyway. So we're just going to have one more look at the Draugr store games. Um, let's try arcade game. And we've got mines. Install. Either Synaptic Package Man Manager or some other software center. Okay. All right. So that one didn't work. So let's just take a quick look at the uh, software and see if we can install mines from there. So this is the GNOME software center, I think it is, um, running under Draugr OS. So it said use another software. We could have used Synaptic, but we'll try in here. So you've got GNOME, GNOME Mines. So that might be, um, that's probably the one it was trying to install, I would say. That, so let's install that. See if it installs from the software center.
Unable to install no mines, cannot perform the following tasks. So we'll try again. Looks like it's having an issue. You know, it might be going through now. Okay, so there seems to be a bit of an issue installing this in the software as well. So maybe there's something wrong with either the mirrors are too slow or it's definitely not, this one definitely not a problem with the Draugr store anyway. This just seems to be a problem with mine itself. I could probably try Synaptic if this fails again because it got up to 90 before and dropped back down to 40%, so I don't know what that was all about. Maybe I need to select uh, faster mirrors, that could be a possibility. It actually dropped down, uh, well, it's actually installed, so that's alright. So let's have a look at, uh, see if the mine's in here. Yes, it is. Um, let's uh, go to games, make sure it's under there. Yes, it is. So if we add a new item and we go launcher add close that Oi. properties add uh, mines and there add close that now we've got mines There we go. So we've got a couple of games there and we could keep installing games and adding games onto here. Um, now the other thing I've noticed is there's a driver manager in here and that wasn't working in the welcome screen. So I just want to see if that starts up from the menu itself. No it doesn't. So I'd have to think, I think the driver manager is mainly for um, NVIDIA. So that's probably why it's additional drivers definitely not starting up anyway it could be just mainly focused on NVIDIA which I don't have so that may not be a problem with the Draugr welcome screen either I think that was the welcome screen that had that yes it was so the other thing I have done is I've downloaded some uh, wallpaper um, let's have a look these wallpapers here and I've copied them into user share backgrounds so if we have a look at um, backgrounds um, we've got to go to desktop um, and I thought I would just download some backgrounds to give this a bit more of a gaming look. Um, so you've got a couple of dice there. Um, if we find backgrounds on here, we can just right click. And, and that's one thing I forgot to mention. You do have right click on there, on the desktop anywhere. Oh, desktop I'm looking for, aren't I? I'm looking for backgrounds, desktop, okay. So we've, I've downloaded a few options here. I'm not sure which one looks the best. Bit of, uh, what do you call it, mine. Um, and that one there, bit of chess. That's Minecraft, isn't it, I think it's called. Yeah, I think. So there my, I've uh, got this one here. So just give to give it that little bit more of a gaming look. I think either the chess one 
all the um, all the dice look quite nice. Yep. So let's leave it at that. So I want to have a look, quick look at these updates. So these commands are for updates specifically for the Draugr devs. So you've got a USB scanner, USB dash scanner, start the custom Xbox DRV daemon packaged with Draugr OS. Update is the update. So he's saying he's got a alias for update. So if we just type update, And we do that so that runs the update and what does that do update the packages cache and download any available updates okay full dash update will perform the update command but also remove any packages not needed and delete old installation packages so they're your aliases and it's asking for password again so you got Auto remove, uninstall any packages not manually installed or needed. Delete, delete the selected file. And root. Invoke admin privileges. This is an alias for sudo in place for new users to make using Draugr OS easier. Okay, so you can just do root. I didn't realise that because I didn't read. <laughs> I'm reading now. So... Um, I just glossed over this, I must admit. I did read uh, fully up to this bit, but I, I didn't really have a look at this bit here. So probably just as well I did. So let's have a look at the terminal, still updating. So you can use a root. So I'd be interested to see how that works. So I just had a message back from Thomas, uh, who's the developer of this operating system, and he's saying that uh, with the... Um, with the bug of the um, uh, login screen, it's something to do with the auto, the intelligent auto hide on the panel. So that's interesting. So I'm assuming if we turn those off, it should be working. So I might try that and see how we go. Okay, so we have finished updating the system. <clears throat> so now that we've updated actually I would like to try one thing with this is um, I want to try actually the uh, the root command I'm going to um, change directories back to downloads where my J oh, yeah it helps if you do it right um, change change directories downloads and hit the tab key first okay list that out so we don't want to send those to let's have a look just put them into user that'll be good enough let's do that let's copy oh no we go root copy instead of sudo we'd go root and copy asterisk uh, JPEG to user and enter, put my password and let's just see if that worked and there's the JPEGs, okay so that worked so root is an alias for sudo and I think you will find in Um, dot config I think it is it's been a while since I've looked at that uh, that's in home uh, view uh, hidden files uh, dot bash us so you should be in there alias root equals sudo alias install dash app sudo apt get install okay so there's all your aliases and that's how you do an alias so um, the alias is what you want to type 
and, and, and you will type update equals instead of typing all of this. Aliases can be very good and it's in your home folder in your bash dot bash rc file. So they can quite they can come in very handy. So it says here um, if you wish for updates to the software added um, let's see. Another interesting feature of Draugr OS is the update system. If you wish for just updates to your apps and the core system, as well as all the software in Draugr OS, which was built by Canonical, the developer of Ubuntu, you can simply use the software updater tool located under the software drop down menu in the desktop bar. Oh no, that was the, um, the original software drop down menu that was in here, which I did I delete that? I must have done. So the software updater is this one here, which is probably found in settings and software updater. So that's what is referring to there. However, if you wish for updates to the software added for Draugr OS as well as bug fixes, additional features and security and performance improvements, you can use the built-in updater script through the command line to update your system. For more information on the updater script, see updating. Okay, so that was this one here. So you can run um, that script there. sudo update dash os dash C Let's put in the password no updates available and then you can do dash I did you manually install Draugr OS uh, um, I'm not really sure what it's referring to there did I manually install Draugr OS oh, I suppose I did manually install Draugr OS yes Updating LSB release, updates complete in the notification there. We can also do a dash S. Complete and the other one, that's see the update scripts. Okay. And dash U, what's that one for? check for download and install any available updates no updates available okay so that's how you can update um, Draugr OS through that and I've done that that's why there was no updates I'm pretty sure it's in alpha I think this OS I hope that's right uh, if it's not um, I'm sure Thomas will I'll send him a link to this video here He'll probably let us know whether it's alpha or what uh, at what stage it's at. I'm pretty sure it's alpha. So that was a look around Draugr OS. Hope you found this operating system interesting. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.